Hey everybody, Life's Journey of 50 here. So uh, again, um, just giving you some updates, what's gonna been going on. So uh, give you a little update on the Torg 660, the, the Aprilia here. I sold it. And uh, I've had some people ask me, you know, and why did I sell it? Why did I get rid of it? And it's just realistically, um, it was sitting. I, I just didn't ride it. Uh, when I bought it, I really thought that this would be my answer to kind of a little bit lighter of a bike. I know a lot of people have talked about how, you know, the big bikes are just heavy and they're hard to pick up and stuff like that. And I am getting a little bit further on the ticks and it, and it does get heavy after a while. I mean, it is a, it is a load to lift the GSA, especially when I'm doing some of the riding I'm doing that you guys see that, you know, I get out there and really put it through its paces and probably put it in some spots that a lot of you just never do or uh, never expect to do. So um, I bought it with that intention. Um, and what I come to find out, what really impacted this was my trip to Columbia. Uh, I rode a 790 KTM R, uh, really liked it. Obviously, I rode over, you know, a thousand plus miles on it uh, in, in the nine, ten days we were there in Columbia. And came back home and a, and a friend of mine uh, who happens to be at the KTM dealer in northern Kentucky, you know, just on the other side of the border here from Ohio, from Cincy, um, they had five new ones that came in the building, the 890Rs, and I, and I ended up getting that. And so I really had to take a hard look between the, between the three bikes. And I, what I realized was is that if I'm going to do long hauls or I'm going to go on journeys such as BDRs or any of that other stuff, I'm going to probably take my GS. Um, I just love my GSA. I, out of all the bikes that I have, it'll probably be the one that'll, that'll stand the, uh, the test of time because it's so versatile. It does so much, you know, um, and, uh, you know, obviously I put a lot of money into it, but at the end of the day, it's just, it's, it's a great bike. And if I'm going to do long haul touring, well, this thing does great on touring too, but it's a 1250 versus the 660 and, um, uh, you know, just creature comforts, um, off road capability. This bike has, and there is no issues with this bike whatsoever. If you're looking at this bike, um, whether, because you don't want to get into the heavy bikes, you don't want to get into more heavy, heavy off road, uh, because this bike can handle off road. It, there's no doubt about it. I I've taken it and done that. Um, and it's comfortable as heck. I, I've, I've mentioned that in my videos, even when I did the comparison between the KTM 890R. And uh, so it's a very capable bike. It just sits kind of between where I'm at as a rider. Um, I, bought, I got the 890 KTM R. Some would say, well, why did you do an 890? You already have a 1250, they're not much difference. Eh, about 150 pound difference. And um, Again, it's a little bit more built for off-road um, and a little bit lighter, right? So if I'm doing some off-road and I got a trailer now, I can take both bikes and I can do a little bit more of the more difficult expert sections on the 890 versus taking the 12, the 1250 out. Uh, the 1250, if I want to go touring long hauls, I want to go across the country or wherever, I mean, that bike's perfect for it. So this bike really just sat in the middle, wasn't getting used a lot. And I just decided it was time to sell it. And uh, I did sell it. Um, I'm actually uh, probably going to uh, deliver it this weekend. Um, got the price that you know I was comfortable with. I've put a lot of, a lot of modifications into it, as you guys well know. There's only about 650 miles on it. It's already had its first service. Um, you know, great bike. The person that bought it is gonna get a fantastic deal because the, between all the upgrades and everything that's done to this bike, it is ready to go out the box done. And um, so, like I said, it's a great bike, comfortable, um, more comfortable than the KTM. Um, and like I said, it's more that sweet spot, more 60-40, I feel, uh, touring and off-road. Some might say 50-50, you know, there, there's been people that have ridden this thing strictly off-road. Uh, and again... Um, you can do that with this bike. It's it's very capable bike. Uh, I think one of the other deterrents for me was 
The closest dealership was about 120 miles. The, the folks that I bought it from were 400 and some miles away. Um, and again, I think it's just dealer network uh, a little bit on the Aprilia that if there's probably one one piece that's it, that probably holds people back from buying the Touareg 660 is just dealer network. Um, and again, I've had no issues with the bike other than I put it in the limp mode in the very beginning. Uh, you know, revved it too much because the the, the RPM limit was the, uh, set there, and I you know we were going on the highway pretty good and. And, um, and that was my fault. So, and there was no issues there whatsoever. We got it cleaned up. Um, so yeah, so anyways, I wanted to tell you guys what was going on. Sold the Touareg, uh, it is going out. I don't know if I'll replace a bike right now. I've got three. Um, I have my, you know, my GS cap is doing extremely well. The 890, I'll get you guys updated on that. You guys know a little bit if you've seen my videos. I've had uh, a little bit of an accident with it. Um, nothing major to put the bike out of commission, but uh, a couple of pieces, parts broken. And then I have my R90, uh, which is just, I, I love that bike around town. Anything less than about 200 miles, it's a great bike to ride. And uh, probably we'll do a little bit on that one as well. So anyway, sold the Aprilia 660. It's nothing wrong against the bike at all literally nothing wrong against the bike at all i just it doesn't fit into my world right now and with the bikes that i have so again uh if you guys are looking for a bike you're you're doing if you're getting into this or wanting to downsize from the bigger heavier bikes but you still want that comfortability of touring along with doing the off-road this is a sweet spot for this bike. I, I really believe that. I mean, I've ridden that Africa Twin, which you guys know my a little bit of my feelings on that. A little bit comes down to obviously it broke down, uh, but I still feel that this bike can outdo that. Um, uh, it's 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 got creature comforts more than the Tenere, the T7, uh, especially on technology wise. You know, drive modes, all those things, ride modes. Um, and then obviously versus the KTM, you know, maybe the S is probably a little bit more suited towards this versus the R, uh, but I have the R for a little bit more off-road. So again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. That's where I'm updated. I wanted to get you guys to tell you about my, uh, uh, what's going on with the Touareg and we'll see where, you know, uh, the next chapter brings on, on bikes. Uh, I've gone through a lot of them lately, but I uh, got to figure out, uh, kind of, where my sweet spot is and what I want to do future riding wise. And uh, we'll go from there, but keep you updated and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.